Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Backbone Chess tutorial from scratch and this is our fourth video session of this video series in which we are going to discuss about the difference between EL and Dollar EL in Backbone Chess. Before this video session guys, I strongly recommend you to watch my part 1, part 2 and part 3 of this video session series because we have discussed the introduction part of Backbone JS from starting in great detail and in the last video session we have seen about the working principle of Backbone JS as well as we have made our first view in Backbone in part number 3 of this video session series. Now in this video session we are going to discuss about the properties of EL and dollar EL in great detail. So in last video session we have made a first view in our backbone js program so let's make again so to create our view just we need to make object like first view equal to backbone dot view dot extend This is the custom message guys for now we have written to execute our first view and by default as we know in slice method acts as a constructor for view so when we run by making its object in slice method will be automatically called and by calling this method it prints a message into our console.log so let's make object of that While making the object of this, it automatically calls the inslice method where which we got console.log message. So control s to save, just go to our browser and press refresh. As we move to the console section, we can see here is our message. So in this video session, we are going to discuss about EL and dollar EL property. In the last video session guys, we had discussed that EL is the DOM element property and dollar $EL is the jQuery object which basically refers to the DOM element referral object. Okay, so let's discuss in detail. In the last video session guys we had discussed that every view has a DOM element. By default Backbone.js provides a default DOM element view to Backbone view. So if we print into the console that what is the basically default value that Backbone actually provides Backbone.view then we have to write this dot EL which is a DOM element refer and this is a jQuery object which basically points to the DOM element. So control S to save, just go to browser and press refresh button. As you can see, Backbone JS by default provide a empty div as a DOM element. Div as you can see, this is the empty div element and this is nothing but this is this dot EL, which basically a DOM element refer. As you can see guys, that Backbone JS by default provides a empty div as a DOM element and where we will see that by using this dot dollar EL it provides a jQuery object which basically points to this DOM element and as we know that div actually is the DOM element which this dot dollar EL is jQuery object which basically points this dot EL and here is our custom message that we have written so far so basically it's a DOM element and it's a jQuery object which points to EL as we have seen by default 
backbone provides div empty div as and it's a object of el okay guys so suppose if you want to change backbone js has provided by default div element we want to change something like into its paragraph tag so to do that we need to define here tag name and if we write p then backbone js picks the p tag in place of div element and it prepares a dom element as this dot el equal to a paragraph element and this dot dollar el points to the el dom elements control s to save just refresh to browser as we can see browser has changed from div element to the paragraph dom element and this dot dollar el basically a jquery object which points to the el dom element so this is how we can change the tag name of by default provided div element let i make it much cl closer view to you suppose here as you can see this is a div which id contains content just copy of that if you want to write some content into this div of id content so to write some contents into this id just we need to write here So by saving this file just you have to refresh this browser as you can see hello wt just inspect this element as you can see under this div element with id content we have written hello wt as content for now so if we want to write this content by the help of this jquery object referrer just we need to add el property to this view el is the dom element refers which basically points the id content of div element after finding the id content here this dot dollar el basically points to this div so if you want to write some content into this div element just we need to add Just make comment for now. Control is to save. Just refresh this button. When we inspect this element, as you can see, nothing has changed. Result has same actually we have seen previously. Because this dot dollar real is a jQuery object and it basically points to the DOM element. So basically, this syntax is much equivalent to. This syntax. This is a jQuery object which basically points a DOM element, and this is the HTML function which basically writes some content in the div. So, how guys you can understood that this is a jQuery object which basically refers or points to the DOM element. Another syntax to write some content into the div section is something like this. Let's make comment for now. Control S to save. Just refresh this button. As you can see, when we spec this element, we see that result will be same because this is a DOM element. As we can see, this is a DOM element. If we go to the console section, you can see this is a DOM element. But this jQuery is object which basically refers to DOM element. So this property actually somewhere it's a common to this this dot dollar real. So basically guys we have seen that how what is the basic difference between this dot el and this dot dollar el. So if you want to access this property outside this function means if you want to write content into the this div element then we don't need to write in under slice method. Then in this specific condition we have to write something like this.
just remove this section for now and here we have to implement return here we are returning the this element which is jquery object and from this method we are returning a jquery object okay guys so just we have to write here we need the content under id content dot html copy this object dot dollar real just control us to save refresh this page as you can see output will be same okay guys as you have seen that we have written dyd content it's a div of id content and this is the dollar real property which basically points the paragraph tag as we have specified as tag name so just we have can see that let's save and refresh this button this is this dot el which basically points a dom element and this is a dollar dl which basically a jquery object which points to the dom element so guys by this by the help of this tutorial i have explained about el and dollar el property basically you have to keep in your mind that this dot el is a dom element referrer whereas this dot dollar el is a jquery object which basically points to el property if we pass el property to this function el property to this function then basically this dot dollar el points to this dom element so the, these are the steps guys that you have to keep in your mind while using this dot el or this dot dollar el so basically el is dom element and dollar el is jquery object refers to the dom element this to dollar el is a reference to the element in the context of jquery typically for use we think like dot dot html dot add class etc for example if you had a div with id some div and you set it to el property of backbone view the following statements are identical as we have seen this is some similar to this and this we have seen all these three examples in great detail by running our applications So this dot el is a native DOM element, but it is untouched by jQuery. But when we wrap into the bracket of jQuery, it becomes a jQuery object. So guys, in this video session, I have explained about el and dollar el. In the next video session, we will see about the template and its usage in Backbone JS. We will see several programs in later video session about events, models, collections, routers, and so many. So keep watching our online web tutor channel and to get the latest videos updates about Backbone JS. So if you have any query about this regarding this video session guys then please do comment in comment box. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys thank you for watching. Have a great day.